Hi, I'm Pastor Paul Marzon, and it's a joy to be talking to you today. And I'm having a special conversation with you to just to kind of follow up from our Celebration Sunday. If you were here, you saw how amazing it was. It was fantastic. Cynthia Williams was our guest preacher, and she knocked it out of the park. She reminded us the importance of what it means to restore and revive. And so if you haven't checked that out on YouTube, I'd highly encourage you to do that. In fact, I believe the entire service was filmed this time, so you can watch the music from the Invergrove uh, Heights campus doing the special music with an amazing presentation. You see the Lakeville campus did some of the praise time and the Elko New Market campus um, came early and kind of kicked us off with a singing gathering. So it was a fantastic service. We also had a couple immersion baptisms. Uh, Gary and Cole were both baptized and that was a reaffirmation of their faith. And then we had an open call for those that wanted to join the church. And we had um, over 50 people come forward. Some who had taken the new members class, some who were going to take the new members class. And so you saw an incredible time of people growing in Christ on Sunday. So check that out. We also received pledges and we have up to date about 60 pledges for a little over $300,000. So that's a great start. We know that our goal is to get closer to 100 pledges for about a half a million. And so we know that there's more out there that are probably watching this right now today and saying, well, yeah, I was going to be there on Celebration Sunday and I didn't get my pledge in. Or those who are still prayerfully considering what is it they would like to donate for next year. So we strongly encourage you to be prayerfully considering that. In today's scripture, I want to share with you what we talked a little bit about before, and that's about generosity. If you have your Bibles or just want to listen, it's from 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 9. Beginning in verse 6, it says this, The point is this, The one who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and the one who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each of you must give as you have made up your mind, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to provide you with every blessing in abundance, so that by always having enough of everything, you may share abundantly in every good work. He goes on to talk about supplying the, the sower with the seed, and God gives us all things. But I love this closing where he says there, For the rendering of this ministry not only supplies the needs of the saints, but also overflows with many thanksgiving to God. This being Thanksgiving week, I think that's a very appropriate scripture. 2 Corinthians 9 reminds us that what we sow, we'll reap. It also reminds us that we give all of the, the overflow to God. And that God deserves all the glory, all the thanksgiving, as Paul says. So in this week of Thanksgiving, we're so grateful for so many things. We just give God all the praise and glory for the many blessings we have received. If you weren't able to be there on Sunday or you're watching this um, on YouTube from one of our many locations um, around the world, I encourage you to download, there'll be a, an attachment in this um, email and on this YouTube clip where you can pull up or find a copy of what's called our uh, 2017 pledge. You can also go directly to our website and just click on electronically on our electronic giving site there. And so it's just a, one of the opportunities where you can give back, to give generously as Paul talks about. At Crossroads, we were changing so many different lives and so many different ministry programs and so many different locations. And yet those take resources that we can continue to reach out in love and acceptance. And so we encourage you to fill us out so as we're planning for next year's budget and we're making programming decisions, we know that we can count on you. And we know that you're investing in a ministry that's making a difference. Many of you give electronically now. I know that um, Pastor Deb and I also give like one-time gifts of checks or sometimes electronically through monthly giving. And so there's an authorization on the back if you'd like to give that way. Um, authorization basically says you put down your either if you want to do your credit card information or you want to do like Deb and I do our bank account information. So it just takes out a monthly um, or every two week withdrawal. It can do that and it's a very simple process to go through. And if you need help, you can always call the church office for that. Likewise, we also encourage people to think about kind of are they giving to the general fund or the, the building fund. To the general fund, we have many people donating, which goes for our works of ministry. The building fund um, is to help repair buildings, such as Invergrove Heights, they're doing some building repair, or save money to help start a building at the Elko New Market campus. Or here at the Lakeville campus, we're also going to be doing some remodeling as we attach to the School for Christian Heritage Academy and looking at some, some connections and some changes in our building. So we have the building fund for that as well. So this time I just um, encourage you to go to our website, explore that more, uh, listen to some of our YouTube's uh, conversations we've been having around generous giving, and just to perfectly consider what God is calling you to do. Let us pray. Holy and loving God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for the generous response of those who are beginning the, 
the commitment to Crossroads Church through pledging, through the financial giving and faithful partnership. And so Lord, we pray for each of our campuses, for the Invergrove Heights campus, the Elkhorn Market campus, and the Lakeville campus, as well as those who give generously for our outreach ministries at our Minneapolis campus. And we thank you so much for each and every person who just, ref just reflects about how generous you've been to them and then gives back to you. I pray today, Lord, that as we reach out in love and acceptance to our communities, that you remind us how we can be a part of that through generous giving. And I pray that you touch our hearts, not to give out a compulsion, guilt, or obligation, but because of the many blessings we have received that we want to share with others. And I just pray for all these things in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.